to a parent whose uh, child or teen may be experiencing um, overwhelming stress or anxiety, what would that look like? What should they be watching for? Yeah, uh, excellent. Some of the things we might look for on the outside that suggest, hey, my child is stressed, overly stressed, and perhaps dealing with some ongoing anxiety that they could really use some help with. We can look at kind of the, the, the physical or body cues. We can look at the mind or mental cues, and we can kind of look at the behavioral cues. So let's think about that. The body cues, first and foremost, aches and pains, chronic, repetitive headaches, stomach aches, that type of thing. And obviously you wanna get them medically ruled out for any other type of medical cause. But often stress is aggravating any of these bodily functions again, and we'll see an overflow of extra aches and pains. We may see extra fatigue or, or tiredness uh, excessive. Uh, or we may see the opposite, some hyperactivity, extra jitteriness or fidgetiness. And that may spill over into tics or nervous habits, hair twirling, biting nails, toe tapping, uh, those types of things. Now again, any of those want symptoms, you'll say every child you ever knew had some of that at some point. We wanna look at that being again, kind of chronic repetitive condition and interfering with their functioning uh, to maybe really take a look at that more closely, obviously. The mental cues, we can look at their thought patterns and it, most notably distracted and disorganized. So stress and anxiety can be a very important source of distractibility. It's, not everything is ADHD. Um, there can be re different reasons kids are having a hard time paying attention and this is really one of the big ones nowadays. Kids are distracted with their worries and repetitive thoughts about what's going on instead of being able to kind of focus on the present moment. So that's a really big common one right now is distractibility. Um, uh, also, negative self-talk and negative thoughts, hypercritical or judgmental of yourself. Kids, oh, I'm terrible, I'll never amount to anything, I can't be good enough, uh, I'm never going to get this, I'm never going to fit in, uh, i got to try harder, and getting on that perfectionistic loop of never feeling good enough. And you hear a lot of negative self-critical talk, again, that starts being a repetitive pattern, we would be concerned about that. Uh, as well as maybe hypervigilance to harm, voicing worries about, are you gonna be okay? Are people gonna be okay? Are, are the doors locked? Are the windows shut? You know, and worrying disproportionately about people being harmed, parents when they go away on trips, that type of thing, uh, again, will come up mentally. And behaviorally, the big thing we see is that either fight or flight response, the flight part, we see a lot of avoidant behaviors, avoiding facing what they need to do. And of course, if that starts becoming a pattern, you want to address that. Or snapping and having a short temper, kind of being strung a little too tightly and kind of snapping and going into that, that fight mode as well. So we might see avoidance behaviors, controlling behaviors, or snapping angry behaviors. So it wouldn't be uncommon if you have a child who's, who's acting out or you think they're just exhibiting poor behavior that the underlying cause could be that they're overstressed or, or feeling anxious. Absolutely, and thank you for putting it that way. I often talk about what is a behavior, and a behavior is really an outward expression of some inward feeling or need, right? So if we think about that way, we often want to just suppress the behavior, fix the behavior, get them to stop doing it. We don't tend to what's the underlying feeling or need that's pushing up and driving that behavior. Of course, we might have uh, be able to temporarily suppress it, but we're not gonna really be addressing the underlying thing. So often these are expressions of underlying kind of stressed nervous system, anxiety that we wanna look at and help them with cope with those thoughts and feelings, not just squash the behavior.